My name is Josh. And I'm Zaid. We believe chocolate should be removed from global markets unless measures are taken to correct ne negative impacts on people and the planet. Our resource is chocolate. People who use it are people who can afford it, chefs and restaurants. It is eaten in different forms. Those forms include cake, chocolate cake, chocolate bar, chocolate croissant and chocolate ice cream. It is eaten at breakfast, tea or dessert. It is a treat that can change your food life forever. That is why people would want it. The sweetness of chocolate draws many admirers. Firstly, in the Ivory Coast, Africa, the cocoa trees are harvested and taken to the factory. All materials are removed and shelled when they arrive. The meat is exposed and roasted carefully. Next, they get grinded with high-speed mills in three stages. The form is now in a liquor. The cocoa butter is then extracted, and the cocoa is grounded into the cocoa butter. Sugar, vanilla, extra cocoa butter, and milk, if it is not chocolate, is then added to the mix. Then it is grounded furthermore. Crunching is then performed to get the right texture. Then it is tempered before it gets molded. Then they vibrate it to shake off the air bubbles. Now it is packaged and sent to the finest chef. Currently, 35% of the world's cocoa comes from the Ivory Coast. That means most of the problems with chocolates are located over there. Another statistic is that the production in the Ivory Coast reached a new high, producing 1.48 million tons in 2010. That means more people want to make more chocolate than before. When more trees being cut down, the cocoa's popularity has shot up over the years. Organisms in the food chain and where it's now lose their habitats, food, and drinking sources. This can have a domino effect on organisms, starting off with the primary consumer. For example, the food chain could so have soil, worms, and birds. When the cocoa gets planted, all organisms could lose their home. Also, their food sources might change because they may move away from the original habitat where they left. There is a more sustainable way to plant these resources. We could take the seeds out and, uh, of the cocoa when uh, shelled and reuse them to plant more cocoa. We could also use greenhouse or old warehouses to plant them with a glass roof or no roof. It could be more sustainable uh, than uh, by cutting down trees when harvesting. There are three main people who could cooperate with each other. They are the farmers, fair traders, and big companies. Firstly, the farmers could cooperate with the fair traders by agreeing on the problems and solutions to the growing problems of chocolate. Secondly, the fair traders could cooperate with the big companies by agreeing on new rules about making chocolate. Some changes on the process of making chocolate could be on extracting the product. Like we mentioned, greenhouses could be used to uh, house cocoa plants. Certain areas may also be made as nature parks or reserved to avoid giving the animal no habitat. The way animals would have better home without, uh, without being hurt or migrating to a Greenhouses would work because moving the plants there would help the animals keep their habitat. The food chains would still function with no delay. Making areas nature reserves would also help the food chains because animals would have no machinery or disturbances nearby. That way, all plantations would be away from the animals so they can have a better life. Though cocoa agroforests cannot match primary forests, the overall level of biodiversity there is usually higher than in other agricultural landscapes. In a forest, there are 80 species and 14 migrants. In a managed cocoa forest, there are 84 species and 26 migrants. In an abandoned cocoa forest, there are 70 species and 18 migrants. In a wooded field, there are 81 species and 25 migrants. Powdered chocolate has found to be delightful yet troubling. Through it is a quiet treat to eat. The sight of child labor and animals losing their habitat has shown the ugly side of chocolate. 
The current methods are harmful to the environment and to people's future. Fair Trade, however, seems to be a helpful uh, organization that is changing the farmer's treatment and is preventing child labor. In conclusion, chocolate is one of the best treats to us humans, but with the current process of extraction, it leaves a better, uh, bitter taste inside. Chocolate restaurants have a huge popularity, with Americans consuming 11.7 pounds of chocolate per year. It is the world's third most traded agricultural product after coffee and sugar. However, the bad side of chocolate shows that 64% of workers are under 14 years old. This shows that farmers are using chop labor very frequently, which is not good for the future. Sustainable economies development is important because we will run out of the um, things we carve from here in 2011. The future will then not get to experience such experience that are unfortunate then. The future may have to start from scratch over things we have already produced. For these reasons, this is why sustainable economy development is important. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this presentation. I'm Zaid. I'm Josh. And good day.